Ranting, reflecting, reasoning, reckoning. The Huddle with paperplusoffice.co.nz. Buy all your office supplies and stationery online now. On the huddle this evening, Cameron Slater from whaleoil.co.nz and editor of The Truth. Hello, Cam. Good hey, to talk Barry. to you. And uh, we have David Farrah from kiwiblog.co.nz. Good day, David. Good day, All right, uh, Cam. Uh, it seems that the Justice Minister, Judith Collins, has some issues around Canadian Judge Justice Ian Binney's recommendations for compensation for David Bain. How do you see this? Well, what we're hearing is rumours of this, and there's no actual statement from Judith Collins, who I understand is offshore at the moment. Um, but the Prime Minister well, we has said Prime she Minister. has real concerns. Um, well, I understand that's the case, um, particularly around uh, the qualifications of Binney himself, uh, who was very quick in, Canadian, uh, in the Canadian press to mouth off about how great it was that he was going to finally get to do, a, do something like this, and it was one of his life's ambitions, but having never actually sat on any sort of criminal cases in the past. That's my understanding of some research that I've been doing um, about Bini and looking into that. So I think there are some real concerns around that. Well, OK, but uh, David, to that I would say, well, it was the government who appointed Bini. It was uh, Simon Power, wasn't it? There's your problem. <laughs> yeah, it was Simon Power. Look, we do know that there's concerns over his report. And the way I approach it, I think about why would the government be concerned? I don't think it's the money, whether it's recommended one or two mil. That's, to be blunt, chicken feed to the government, you know, budget of $70 billion. So it's not that they're, they're being stingy. The politically easy thing to do is probably just to say, um, well, we've got a recommendation, we'll follow it. The fact they're not at this stage that they're concerned suggests to me that there's something quite substantive that is concerning them. Um, about this, and we don't know what that is. But, you know, the easy thing to do would be say, yeah, here's the report. They say, give Bain some money, let's do it. Mm, um, mm. So, you know, there's obviously something concerning well, them quite deeply. The bottom line is, is paper boys don't deserve $2 million. All right. Well, you see, clearly uh, Collins doesn't accept the judge's findings, Cameron. I mean, that seems pretty clear, doesn't it? Uh, well, from what the Prime Minister is saying, he d- she doesn't Minister accept it. And that's all we've got to go on at this stage. But yes, I think it is fairly clear that they, that they don't accept the judge's findings um, and that they've gone and sought um, some additional opinions. Um, I think we're going to have to wait and see what Judith Collins comes out with. Um, and I don't know what the time frame is on that, although the Prime Minister was saying that it could be you know, four or five weeks. OK, we'll come back in just a moment. Cameron Slater, David Farrah on the huddle. News Talk said B. It's now 16 to 6. Business banking specialists at West. Back on the huddle with Cameron Slater and David Farrar. David, uh, issue number two, Labor and the Greens could govern based on the latest chunk of polls. I don't think this is a remarkable thing, is it? Labor and the Green government is a, is a real possibility because National doesn't have a lot of friends. Oh, look, since the last election, National only got to form government by one vote before it had to rely on the Maori party. So it's always going to be a pretty close race for 2014. One of the polls had Labor Greens could govern alone. The other had the Maori party uh, with the balance of power. So, yeah, I don't think it's any surprise. I think the big things that are going to be looking for is around the minor parties too. Does Winston make it back? He's polling low at the moment, but you never count him out. Will the Conservatives make 4% or 5%, um, et cetera? But, you know, um, certainly Labor will be very pleased to end the year going up in the polls. Maybe they should reappoint David Cunliffe to their front bench so they can... Well, that's, see, that's an interesting thing, Cameron, isn't it? Does this not Cunliffe out for a while anyway? I would have thought she is safe for the moment? Oh, you can never keep a man who's so embittered with ambition out of the count ever. Um, I think what will happen, though, is that his supporters will be um, smarting. He doesn't have very much support in caucus, but in the wider party, it's the least mm. that he does. And they'll just sit there uh, fulminating and throwing big wobblies over the Christmas break. We've already seen that across a number of the blogs that David Shearer doesn't read. And um, and, and I think you're still going to see ructions. Uh, I believe that David Shearer will win the vote in, in February. Uh, but you're still going to have a very negative and nasty split within the Labour camp. And... 
I mean, I seriously can't believe that there's 12.5% of morons out there who think that the Greens have got the answers for anything. Well, uh, it's clear that they could be there and Russell Norman could have a, uh, a finance portfolio. Well, we could be looking at a road poll situation here. No. Anyway, David, uh, the TPP, the, the, the talk started in Auckland today. The protest is there with their placards. Uh, where do they think the jobs are going to come from? If we don't have oh, these trade deals. Look, there are some issues around TPP with some of what the US is asking for, but that's what the negotiations are for, and New Zealand negotiators are working hard. The, the, the trouble you get with the Greens, we've just talked about him, Jane Kelsey, is from what I can tell, they've opposed every trade deal we've ever uh, negotiated. And when you look at the China free trade agreement, that's a huge success for New Zealand. Exports have gone up massively. You know, there are some issues around TPP, but you know, just this knee-jerk um, opposition to it, I don't think uh, helps anyone. What do you see in this, Cameron? Farm Act, agriculture, non-negotiable, according to the Prime Minister? Well, the Prime Minister's the Prime Minister. He'll um, do, give, cut us the best deal that we can. But anything, honestly, anything that upsets Jane Kelsey has to be good. She's so far left, it's not funny. And when you look at her statements where she's saying that, you know, this will lock us in for 100 years, those are actually just outright falsehoods. Well, you can walk away from the TPP, I was just saying before, at any point, can't you? Just write a letter. Six months' notice. Six months' notice, big deal. So all of this spinning and carry-on, look, it's renter crowd. It's it's the same, um, you know, renter mob type. I imagine um, John Minto's out there with his megaphone. Yes. I thank you both. That is Cameron uh, Slater and David Farrer on The Huddle. Murray Deacon, Exus now, 10 to 6.